Hi guys, future editing Kati here. I didn't feel right posting, uh, you know, a video without addressing the things that are going on in the world, uh, just briefly. This video was obviously filmed, um, before everything started blowing up and it shouldn't take, you know, a video for me to have to say this, but Black Lives Matter and unfortunately right now in the world there are awful things happening, but there are also really amazing things happening. Obviously, as a white privileged young woman, I can't speak too much on the matter. That being said, I am going to be putting some links in the description. Please do what you can to help. Donate, protest if you feel comfortable doing it, or even just read up on the subject a little bit more and educate yourself. This is a topic that needs to no longer go under people's radars and like I said it sucks that I even have to make this statement but again I'm really hoping for a change and I'm hopeful that that change will come. Like I said links are going to be in the description just do what you can please practice love practice equality and we're gonna keep fighting this until we see a change. Okay, thanks. I feel weird even doing like the whole like, hello universe, my name is Kati thing. So I'm just gonna start this off by saying hi. <laughs> so today is May 28th and May 28th marks the anniversary of when my grandpa passed away. He has officially been gone for two years. Yep, that's it. Okay, bye. <laughs> I don't do good at being serious. Anybody who's been watching me since 2018, first off, thanks for sticking around. In my uh, 18 things I learned in 2018, I mentioned that my grandpa had passed away that year. And that's really all I mentioned. Um, I never really made a video about it just because I feel weird making videos like that. In my opinion, it's almost inauthentic to do videos like that where you're just sitting and crying on camera. It's, um, I don't know. It's weird, so two years later, I decided to make a video where I'm crying on camera. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm really not, I'm, I'm, I don't know. But I do wanna make a video and just talk. I don't know, I don't know if it's gonna be anything. Obviously, I hate it when people say that. I hate when people are like, I don't know if I'm gonna post this. I don't know if this video is necessarily gonna be anything or if it's even gonna be interesting. So if it's not interesting to you, I'm sorry. Pretty much my grandpa was my best friend since I could remember. When I was nine months old, oh, I'm shaking and I don't know why. <laughs> when I was nine months old, my grandma and my grandpa got into a car wreck and it instantly killed my grandmother. My grandpa had a couple broken ribs, but other than that, he was okay. Uh, when he was in the hospital, you know what, Bailey? Just continue hitting this beat bump. Just ruin this, this heartwarming it. story for me, okay? When he was in the hospital, he was kinda just ready to give Babies up. Babies weren't allowed in the ICU where he was but luckily once visiting hours ended, the nurse came out to my parents and she was like, look, let's get that baby in there and maybe it'll cheer him up. He brought me in and my mother has always told me this story that the minute my grandpa saw me, you could just see the life light back up into his eyes. And from that moment on, him and I were best friends. <laughs> Why am I crying? It's sad, baby. You're allowed to cry, <laughs> So obviously my grandpa passing away affected me a lot and it still affects me because, I mean, I've always said he's the only person on this planet who never did anything to hurt me, ever. <laughs> he was just literally the best person. Fucking asshole to everybody else, but to me, he was amazing. So we were passing through where he's buried and since I've never visited him, Bailey offered, you know, to go buy it and at first I was kind of iffy but then I realized it probably is a good idea. So we picked up Dairy Queen and we're just gonna go sit and eat and I'm gonna film it because um, YouTubers are psychopaths. I make jokes at inappropriate times, I'm sorry. So this is weird, I don't know, I, I just, I don't know. <laughs> Funny story, we were late to my grandpa's funeral because the limo driver, um, no, not because I was drunk. No, my you, sister. You and no, sister oh yeah, them? no, my sis, my sister and I got drunk right before the memorial service the night before his funeral. <laughs> well, it was happy hour at the hotel, and we were like, you know, we could suck up to our cousins, or we could just get drunk and ignore them. <laughs> so we chose the latter. I don't want to get copyrighted. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, I 
bad. Too bad. Too bad. When I was a kid, and any time I was sick, my grandpa would always go to Dairy Queen and he would bring me chicken fingers and gravy. Bailey was like, why don't we get just get a little DQ meal and eat it here? And so now we are in the 100 degree Texas sun. <laughs> I'm not as emotional as I thought I'd be. I thought that this would just be like, I guess, make it real that he's gone, but I, I, I guess I have come to terms with it. I guess when I cry, it's just because I miss him. Really hot. Mm hmm. Wanna go eat this in the car? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> My grandpa's in his grave, like, I survived World War II and you pussies can't even sit there and survive five minutes in the sun. He walked so we could be lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this doesn't come off as disrespectful. I've just never understood, I guess, the importance of going to graveyard you know they're they're with you everywhere you go. Yeah. I don't I don't have to go and, and look at a gravestone to know that that he's with me. <laughs> oh, but thank you for taking me and encouraging me to go. The five minutes out in the sun really did me good. <laughs> I'm not gonna end this video being like, I love you, Grandpa, I miss you, because I, I mean, I say that to myself every single day and I know that he hears me out. He's been my best friend and he'll always be my best friend. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay, my and I'm not crying because it's like, oh, he was taken too soon. Like, no, bitch, it was his time to go. He, <laughs> like I said, goodbye to him probably five times before he actually died. That son of a bitch was so damn stubborn. I know that he held on to me and, and the last thing I ever said to him was, thanks for holding out and it's okay to go. Just let me know when you let go and at like six o'clock in the morning on May 28th, I was in a hotel room and I got woken up and I looked in the corner of my room and I just saw this like, I don't know how to explain it, but I just, I don't know, I knew it was him. And I went back to sleep, and then I woke up again around 8, and I, I think at like 6.30, 6.45, something like that, my dad texted me and told me that uh, in that last hour, my grandpa had passed away. I'm thankful I was able to say goodbye, and I'm thankful that he came and said goodbye to me too. I think this is going to be the end of this little video. I'm sorry if it was lame or cliche or you know whatever but if you watched through the end thanks and if you can take anything from this just hold your loved ones as close as possible and just just love everyone as much as you can while you can I'm not gonna do the whole like subscribe to my channel shit because it's just it's not <laughs> not the right video go tell somebody that you love them <laughs>